How's it going, everybody? Here is another Thursday. And as we always do on Thursdays, we are bringing the latest and greatest in real estate news and information to you. So today I wanted to talk to you about affordability and what we can get in San Diego. So San Diego, as you know, is the home of some of the greatest beaches and, uh, and some of the most beautiful, beautiful scenery in Southern California. And it's home for me and my family and uh, everybody that uh, works in this region. So today I wanted to uh, share with you what we can get in San Diego for about 900,000, which is actually the median uh, home price around San Diego. So before I uh, go and do that, I wanted to share with you a couple of a uh, couple of uh, slides about uh, affordability. So let me go ahead and uh, share you uh, share with you a couple of the slides that I have from a um, uh, from uh, a seminar that I went to on affordability. So let's look at that. So I think today it's it's um, it's easy to say that affordability is at all time low especially in San Diego. So what COVID brought for us was a, a, an actual dilemma because San Diego is a very desirable area. A couple of years ago, we, um, we were actually thinking of moving from New York to San Diego, to, from New York to California. So we uh, got into our car, my mother and my mother and my sister and I, we got into our car and drove across the country and it was a beautiful trip and we went through some uh, some amazing places and um and so you know if you go straight from new york and and you go straight across you actually end up in san francisco which is where we ended up and and san francisco was beautiful we had some uh, some family and we stayed with um up in the bay area uh, just south of san francisco and we just we decided to stay and then and then after a month or two, we discovered that San Diego actually is a much, 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 much better place to live in terms of quality of life because uh, the, the Bay Area, you have to go through a lot of bridges and, and a lot of traffic. And, uh, and San Diego is a lot, uh, you know, uh, there, there's a lot less traffic. Now we're talking about we're talking about 25 to 30 years ago. Things have changed now. And 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 things may not be exactly the same as when we started, but at the time when we were there, that's what we were dealing with. And uh, so when we when we came down to San Diego, um, we actually discovered that San Diego was a much, much more desirable to, uh, to live in terms of quality of life. And I think once COVID hit, a lot of Northern California people actually discovered the same thing. And all of a sudden, San Diego became the, the next hot spot, and a lot of those uh, dollars started coming down from from uh, Northern California to Southern California, in particular San Diego. And all of a sudden, we've gotten uh, we've gotten this uh, issue of affordability. Well, we are now well. Actually, next last month, we were named the least affordable city in the country because. Our economy is not as strong as as the Bay Area or even LA and Orange County, uh, but prices have uh, leveled off because all these people from all these different uh, different more affluent cities are moving to San Diego since they're able to work remote, or at least that's what was happening during COVID, and it has not changed. So let's look at some affordability uh, affordability slides that that uh, I actually collected out of a seminar that I went to. And uh, I am sorry if they're not the best slides, but the, these are what I actually got uh, by, um, you know, taking pictures of the slides. So, so they're, they're not the clearest, but they uh, bring all of the information that I wanted to share with you. So as you can see, housing affordability index, we're, we're looking at the affordability and um, and if you're looking at this and you're looking at the years, you can actually see the years of 1993 through 2023. 
and you can see the the most affordable years let's see 2012 was the most affordable year and after that 2020 was the most affordable year and now in 2023 september of 2023 was the worst affordable uh time of um of you know throughout the years if you're looking from 1993 to september of 2023 and then let's look at uh, wages wages mortgage rates and home prices so uh moving past that uh, so wages are actually climbing up. So that is that is actually a good thing where wages are climbing up. So uh, let's keep on going. And uh, but here's here's the the bad part: the the mortgage rates. Mortgage rates are actually so so as you can see, 2021 mortgage rates was at 2.96. But if you if you actually look at the numbers, see. 2.96 is not really something that uh, is more that is um sustainable if you're looking at four five six percent that is what historically we've been looking at so if you go past 2016 i remember when i first got into real estate in the year 2000 2001 uh, through 2004 mortgage rates were actually around 6%. So right now, uh, our mortgage rates are actually even above 6%, but but 5 or 6% mortgage rate is really not that outrageous if you, uh, if you think about it. 2.96 is a COVID interest rate, and it's not really something that's sustainable for the long run. So... Uh, current mor mortgage rates compared to the last five decades. Uh, so 1970s, well, 8.86, uh, 1980s, 12.5, 12 uh, 12 uh, 1990s, 8.12, 2000s, 6.27, and, uh, and 2010 to now, basically. So so as I, I was mentioning, the if you average average it out, we are actually not that outrageously expensive in terms of of the interest rates alone. So uh, so that uh, let's uh, let's see um, and the, yeah, again mortgage rate stability even if the st uh, stabilization occurs with rates at a higher level is the key to an eventual housing recovery, meaning that we get to a point where where uh, where people and young people especially can actually afford to buy. And uh, there there we go. Um, mortgage rates are actually this this is uh, the news is mortgage rates is dropping right now. We're at a point where everybody's wondering what the, the mortgage rates are going to do if they're going to drop further. I kind of don't think that that's going to happen. But let's see, let's say that we're actually lower than this. We're actually, today we were at 6.9% interest rate. So that being the case, let's look at some homes. Let's look at what we can actually get uh, for, for the home. So let me uh, change my screen and uh, show, you, uh, show you where um, some of the homes that are available to for us to look at if we are looking at somewhere something around 900,000 in San Diego County. So, let's look at uh let's look at uh this house that's in in uh, Claremont, which is one of the areas of San Diego County. And uh and if uh, you're looking at this, um it's uh, three bedrooms, two bath, 1100 uh, square feet. And let's look at some of the pictures of this home. So uh, this home is, hmm, I would say, I would say actually not really a bad home, more of a starter home than anything. But it's actually not that uh, not that bad of a home. You can you can build a, an ADU to this home, and uh, then you know you you can have something that you can definitely work with. So. Uh, so this home is about, let's see, 
895,000. So this is what 895,000 is buying you in Claremont. And that's about uh, 1,100 square feet. So let's see, this one is about 1,500 square feet and it's in Rancho Bernardo. So let me see, two bedrooms, two bath, about 1,557 square feet. And homeowners associations are at $705 and the price is $914,000. So let's see what we get. Um, this is actually pretty nice if you, if, uh, you know, if you like a townhome, it's a one story townhome. And I would say this is pretty nice, especially if, uh, if it has a view, does not look like a view, it does not look like it has a view and it looks like it's two stories. So, you know, uh, could be attractive for some people could be not so attractive for some other people, but, um, definitely something to consider. And, uh, okay. So nice, actual, nice view to, uh, to talk about. So there we go. This is a, this is a sample of, uh, something else that you can get in, um, oh, two car garage. That's always good. And, uh, okay. Well, maybe not, a, uh, a, not an actual view, but not a big, uh, not a, um, a small backyard or a back patio either. And uh, of course, great amenities to, uh, to consider. This pool is uh, definitely very nice to live by. So there you have it in Rancho Bernardo. That's what you get for about 900,000. Let's keep going. Okay, let's look at this because this one is double the size. So let's see where this is. Um, so this is actually in, um, in uh, uh, by the border uh, around San Isidro. And uh, so you are getting four bedrooms, three baths, 2,191 square feet. So quite big, no HOA fees. And price is at 900, between 900 to $950,000. So let's look at this and see. And this is actually a house and not a bad house, a beautiful uh, pool uh, and it comes with solar, two car garage, huge backyard. And, and it's actually um, uh, butts in into, into a nice canyon. So you also have a nice, um, nice view property. There is your kitchen quite nice and, uh, and updated. The house is very spacious and updated. I would say this is now, if we're talking about, uh, you know, value for your money, this is a much, much better value to get for 900,000 than the one in Claremont for, uh, for 1100 square feet and needed a lot of work. So this, I would say is a much, much better buy. Um, I love the way that this has been designed on the second floor this must be the primary and it looks beautiful with uh with a kitchenette up on top uh backyard is uh, is amazing with with uh with uh all of the the basket basketball court next to the pool i mean this is an entertainer's delight backyard who wouldn't want to live uh you know uh in this backyard so there you have it. That's what you get in San Isidro. Let me see. Let's just uh, move on and uh, explore one other place for the money. Let's see if we can go even bigger. So we explored 1,100 square feet in Claremont. We explored 1,500 square feet in uh, Rancho Bernardo. We explored 2,000 square feet in, um, in San Isidro. Let's see what uh, what we get here, 2,400 square feet. Okay, and, and this is also in Chula Vista, and uh, it's actually uh, five bedrooms, three baths. So really, really big um, house. It's the biggest one yet. And we don't have very many pictures coming yet because it's a coming soon. And the rules are coming, uh, are coming soon are, you put one picture just to 
uh, basically build up interest for people. And uh, then once you go active on the market, then you add the rest of the pictures. So, but what's interesting is three car garage and again, five bedrooms, three baths. Okay, well, there you have it, my friends. And, uh, and as always, I uh, am Roxanne Govari, and I've been in real estate in San Diego for over 20 years. And uh, happy to answer any of your questions. If you have them, please reach out to me. There's my phone number. And uh, I am your resident uh, realtor expert. And let me see what else I can share with you. There is my email address if you guys prefer to email me. If you are on Instagram, there's my Instagram handle. Would love to connect with you. If you're on Facebook, please follow me on Facebook, Roxanne Govari. And, uh, and my uh, website is RoxanneGovari.com. So reach out to me uh, over there. I would uh, love to hear from you. And again, text or phone call is always the best way to get a hold of me and if you are if you're viewing this on youtube please give me a thumbs up and i always love to hear from you so have uh, yourself a beautiful day and uh, thank you so much for watching see you later